For today's episode, we are comparing the first fight scene that we see of Roadhouse character Dalton in the 1989 original and now the 2024 brand new out today Roadhouse remake. About a year ago, maybe even more now, I heard that they were remaking Roadhouse. And right away I went, no, don't, stop, stop it. They can't remake these movies over and over and have me interested in them. But guess what? I'm interested because the original with Patrick Swayze was one of, I'm not gonna say my favorite movies, but definitely one in the martial arts realm, the fight realm that I will continue to watch over and over. When I heard that they were casting Jake Gyllenhaal, I kind of went, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't feel like the fight scenes are gonna be on par and he's not gonna have his charisma that Patrick Swayze was able to bring to the screen for that character. But you know, the movie's out and I wanted to take a look and compare the first fight scenes with both these guys and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Right away I wanna note, one of the first things that I always find interesting in movies is who strikes first. In the Patrick Swayze movie, he has his arms crossed, he's standing there, and a knife gets pulled, and he doesn't really unfold his arms until after the first swing. He's definitely on the defense, he's not aggravating the situation. In the new one, Gyllenhaal is standing there. He's tried to disengage, try to say, no, we don't want to do this, but he's the one who slaps first. And they have probably made differences from the original storyline to the new one. I hope they do. I don't like when they remake things the exact same, but one of the lines that Dalton had in the first one was, I want you to be nice. I want you to be nice until it's time to stop being nice. And in the new one, slapping first is definitely not nice. Although open hand is a good way to go. If you ever have to defend yourself, just a big smack of across the face. I'm pretty sure I've done an episode on this. And then he continues to paw away with those palms with everybody else who's in the circle who's about to attack him. Obviously, open hand is going to keep your fist safe and it won't have the same liability that might occur if you smack somebody with knuckles and break something. And one of the things I'm always curious when we have these martial arts movies is can the actors properly portray somebody with real martial arts skills? And when we look back on Patrick Swayze in the original Roadhouse, the first thing he does after the knife comes out and he puts his guard up, he gets to a stance. But he kind of has his arms a little crisscrossed and the stance just looks a little unnatural. I probably noted this before, but really when looking today at comparisons, I went, ooh, that's not great. He doesn't look as soon as he goes into that stance like somebody who actually knows what he's doing. Now, after Jake Gyllenhaal slaps a couple people, somebody starts running towards him and we see him executing some pretty darn nice slipping. Obviously, they're doing tricks with the camera, speeding it up, cutting certain angles, but it doesn't look that bad. And even his big slap, the way he kind of loads up and he gets some whip behind it, I'm gonna say all of that initially is looking pretty realistic. And when I watched the first fight scene, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. And for all the martial artists out there who love Roadhouse, who want to improve their martial arts skills, there are four days left, only four days to get yourself registered for my upcoming defense course, which launches March 25th. We're gonna have pre-recorded videos. We're gonna have three live calls. You're gonna have access to this for life. This will be a one of a kind course. There will be nothing like this. We are focusing exclusively on defense, how to block correctly, how to check correctly, and then getting into other aspects like how to increase your offense based off this strong security in your defense. Link in the description below. Get registered before March 24th when the doors close and access to the course is gone. Now the first time that we see Patrick Swayze strike, it's interesting, a knife comes towards him, he kind of parries it to the side, but instead of striking with the opposite hand, which is what you would normally do, this one's preoccupied, right? You want to come right into there, he swings through and then hits with that hand. And I'm gonna say that would not be the go-to thing to do. After that, then when the guy's off balance, he comes through with his spinning hook kick. And kind of funny, he lands more with the calf, which if you've ever thrown a spinning hook kick on a pad, you know the further up your leg you come, the less power you're gonna have. Really, if you don't land with the heel, it's not gonna be a super powerful technique. So a little bit of a mistake there, but if they actually wanted to get that impact, like real impact in the movie, 
They probably don't want a heel or a shoe coming into somebody's back. They probably went, oh, let's do the calf instead and we'll minimize the impact. The whole next scene from Hall is actually pretty good. It's fast, but with multiple opponents, fast switches from person to person. He slips under the first initial hook and guides the guy by him and then comes in with that spin to a punch. From there we see him blast in a hard front kick and then quick transition to somebody and boom, hits him with the big shot. He does a little wrist curl too, which I think would actually be a little bit more realistic when you're striking somebody right in the face, making sure that you can really keep everything locked in, not like try to minimize damage and it kind of hits and stops. I think all in all, it looks pretty realistic and not completely out of the realm of possibility. I always think it's really funny in fight scenes where you have four guys and they all kind of gather around and one guy attacks and then the other guy waits and takes his turn to attack and this guy attacks and the dude in the middle is just kind of fighting four dudes but really one at a time. In this one, Gyllenhaal is kind of leading the dance. And I like how that happens because I think in that situation, you might actually have to become the aggressor to make it realistic because you're not going to fight four guys at once and win. Back to the classic movie, we see Patrick Swayze execute a little bit of a slip, slam in a good body shot, throw his opponent off to the side, but then he gets his back taken. When the guy grabs him and somebody else rushes towards him to get a shot in, I like how he jumps in the air and kicks both feet out. Maybe not 100% realistic, but still kind of cool while being like, yeah, that could actually happen, I guess. And then a big tumble out through the window, down, falling over some bars, gets onto the floor, and now it's time to throw down one-on-one. -on -one. And then just a good variety of slipping shots, coming back with his own, slipping some more, throwing a sidekick, which ew, didn't look very good. It was kind of a sloppy sidekick. Not something that you would see an actual martial artist, a high-level one, execute in that style. But overall, still good fight scenes, good head movement, and Patrick Swayze does a good enough job making his short little punches look somewhat realistic. Now, since we've all seen the original Roadhouse probably many times, let's move into the final fight scenes from the new one. His opponent loads up for a big punch, just drops his weight, and boom, hits him right down to the thigh, which is gonna get a reaction. If you hit somebody right there, they're gonna fall forward. So he hits him once, and then as the guy's head comes down, boom, big uppercut. We used to do a self-defense move like this, hitting somebody in the groin and then coming up to their face. That was a little bit more mean, a little bit more practical, but this one, I guess I can get behind it. Then he has an opponent rushing towards him. He gets on the inside of the arm, tosses him to the side, and now a technique which I don't know if it would actually work. He gets almost a tie clench around his opponent's neck, drags him to the side and then switches and basically gets this guy's legs coming one direction and then flipping out when he slams him down then he gives him a big three shots to the head and the fight scene is done. I've done a lot of clinch throughout the years. I don't ever remember being able to pull somebody and switch directions and have them go off balance. I think that is a little bit unrealistic. If they would have gone from here and then dragged and swept, then I would go, yeah, that 100% works. That really does work, I've done it. I've seen many people like Rod Tang execute in fights. And now all I really wanna say is I was a skeptic about this movie coming out, but I think I'm actually gonna be watching it. Like I said, it is out today. Might as well check it out. I'm probably gonna do an episode on Conor McGregor's fight scenes as well, just to let you know, oh, okay, how are they looking? What are my thoughts? And get your guys' input as well. So let's leave it there where we'll come back to another Roadhouse episode very soon. As always guys, train hard and I'll see you back here soon for another video.